Okay guys, um, welcome to the introduction of the digital SLR, which is a single lens reflex camera. Um, you're going to notice what makes this a single lens reflex is the mirror here. So there's going to be a mirror that's going to reflect light from the lens uh, under the mirror and into the viewfinder. And I want to go over some of the parts of this camera. So the first thing you're going to see here is the lens. Um, this is going to have a focus dial. So this is going to allow you to, while you're in manual focus, which can be toggled here from manual to autofocus, you're going to be able to um, manually focus the lens. You also have the ability to autofocus this lens and let this camera sort of select the focus points for you. On your lens, you're also going to have a... Um, ring that's going to zoom in and zoom out so you're going to be able to make a uh, change the focal length of your lens from something that's telephoto in the 75 millimeter range to wide angle in the 18 millimeter range and then a normal um, focal length between 35 and 50. Okay so this is the lens and then what I want to do is I want to talk about the top deck of this camera. So you're going to see here that we have a a uh, program wheel. Um, this little hash mark line is going to allow you to change this from program to shutter priority to aperture priority to the ma the focus. Um, I'm sorry, excuse me. The uh, setting that we're going to use, which is uh, the manual mode. Again, there's some other things here, like the screen mode or uh, the mountain mode. Don't even get me started on the pictograms. You're also going to um, be able to turn this camera on and off here. So you can go to obviously on, and then this will put your camera into movie mode. Also, you can change your ISO or the sensitivity of your camera's uh, chip on uh, with this button here. And then you can use your scroll wheel to change this. This scroll wheel is going to allow us to change our f-stop and shutter speed accordingly. And then we have our shutter release button. Um, you also can see that the shutter release button is going to allow me to halfway press this down and that will give me um, a meter reading and will autofocus my camera. Um, the meter reading will be displayed inside of the pentaprism. Uh, if I press this all the way down, this is the shutter release. And so this is going to uh, take the picture. Moving to the back of the camera, I just want to show you a few things here. We have a whole set of uh, menu buttons, including white balance and the playback button. This button here, AV plus minus, is going to be extremely important when using manual mode. Um, selecting this button is going to allow us to toggle back and forth between shutter and uh, aperture modes. Um, you're going to have a menu, but in order to do that, this screen is a flip out screen. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to flip this screen out and with it on, I can press the menu button and start to go through uh, with my arrow keys um, and select some different settings. On the bottom of this camera, you're going to see the battery um, housing. And so you can take your battery in and out. You're going to need to charge that at some point. Uh, you're also going to have uh, here your SD card. So I can put a card in and out of my camera. And then uh, there's going to be some other functions um, that are going to be uh, changeable on this side. 